us to the seventh episode in a series of episodes that are focused on the 2023 GCE Science Paper 2, which is Chemistry. So if you haven't seen the other episode, please go to our YouTube channel and check the episode that covers in section A and question B1, B2. And if you are new to this channel, consider liking and subscribing so that every time I upload a video, you are able to get the notification bell. And if you find this video to be helpful, please indicate in the comment section so that I know that you are finding these videos helpful. Question B3, the experimental setup that follows shows a mixture of sand and iodine crystals in an evaporating dish. So we have the evaporating dish, then we have the mixture of sand and iodine inside here. These are the mixture. Okay, question A, describe how the mixture of sand and the iodine crystals can appropriately be separated. So how can we separate these two? So this two, which is the mixture of sand and iodine crystals, we can separate them using the method of sublimation. So the method of sublimation. Iodine sublimes, that is it changes from solid to gas without going through the liquid phase. Because of that, then we are saying we use the sublimation method. So what are the steps? So the first step is we need to place an inverted funnel over the mixture. So an inverted funnel is placed here on top an inverted funnel. So the first step is one, we place an inverted funnel over the mixture. Okay, so this is the first step of four. The second step is we eat the mixture gently. So when we eat the mixture gently, the iodine crystals will sublime and the, the iodine gas will rise. So now as the iodine gas is rising, the inverted funnel will help it to be trapped up. So it will go up the funnel. Now that funnel should be covered with the ice pack. So we need to cool the funnel by covering it with the ice pack. So we cool the funnel. So on top of this funnel we put the ice pack. So we're going to put this uh, ice pack on top of this. So we cool, cool the funnel with ice packs. So this ice pack will help iodine gas to cool and revert back to solid state on the surface. So it will come and solidify on top here. Well, what remains here is we are going to have sand. So the sand the sand remains in the evaporating dish. Evaporating dish. That's what is happening. So once you do that, you are good to go. So I've explained to you all the steps. Question B, explain why bottled mineral water is not pure water. So bottled mineral water is not pure because it contains various dissolved substances. So among the key substances are minerals like calcium, potassium, and magnesium because they are put there. And I think that other we have salts and sometimes even gases. So these substances dissolve in the water and give mineral water its taste. So the reason is because it contains various dissolved 
min laws instead of min laws let me say substances substances this include mean laws like mean laws like in calcium so you have calcium you have potassium so if you read on the bottle you discover that these are the mean laws that are contained in the mean water and say magnesium magnesium even in gases so once you do that you are good to go question C give one criterion for purity of substance so here we are looking for a criterion so one criterion for purity of substance is that it has a specific and sharp melting or boiling point so it has a specific and sharp melting or boiling point so impure substances have a range of melting or boiling point so this is what distinguishes a pure substance from other impure substances so other possible answers that we can give it has a uniform composition so pure substance one they have uniform uniform composition just in case you are asked to give more than one matter so the same properties are maintained throughout because it has the same composition of matter number two that you can give the density should be uniform so we have uniform density so from composition you're talking about now uniform density then each color the pure substance usually have a specific color so you can also talk about it specific color specific color so these are the other three that you can think about in addition to the boiling point and the melting point being sharp once you do that you are good to go and you get these five marks thank you for joining me in this episode please join me in the next episode as we look at question 4 in detail